welcome to the most boring comeback <laughs> it's about ironing boards this bit anyway so this is my old ironing board like easy lifting all that it's really nerdy but i'm going to show why i'm excited about it i'm a tall lady so when i'm sewing this is so low so i'm bending over like not in the way you're supposed to and i was getting back bad back pain and it, it was just horrible and this <laughs> this is so nerdy squat this is the new one Look at that. I, I can do all my sewing and whatever. Folding, hemming, cutting, sewing. And it's also deep as well. I haven't used it yet. I wanted to show the nerdiness on camera of me using it first time. But when I unpacked it, I was like, yeah, yeah, out loud to myself. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. If you made it this far and didn't skip to the next bit, thanks. <laughs> it does look like a joke. Like, it, when you see it in real life, it's a joke. But if you're tall, it's not a joke. It's, like, amazing. Because I don't use my ironing for, like, clothes. I just use it for sewing. And sewing is, like, like you're standing up for a long time and you're bending over and all that. But now I can just be, like... I don't have a prop. I'm just pretending. So if you're short, don't get this. Because you'll be, like... It would be, it, I think it wouldn't work because it does look like a joke. On Saturday, I am going to Newcastle Ladies Day, the race course. Most people know the races as alcohol and gambling, which it is. I went once and won £100. I was so happy with myself. <laughs> I've worked there before and I've gone 2015. Back then, I just wore my fancy go-to black dress. And I feel like my fashion has changed a lot in the past nine years. Like, I'm more bold with my colours. I can sew. I, I, so I was reading about Ladies' Day. I know everyone gets dressed up because you see them, you know, they're dressed up. And there's a competition to enter, the Style Awards, and there's 10 places to win. So I'm going to enter. <laughs> so the theme is gold. There's two themes. If you're going for gold, wear gold, is basically what they're saying. Steal the show by choosing a statement dress or tailored suit saturated in gold. For a more subtle nod to gold, opt for gold accessories, such as statement earrings, bracelets, or an oversized clutch. So I was like, should I buy a gold dress? And then I was like, no, no, I mean, that is so not you. Neither is clutch bag, let alone a gold one. Like I, the idea of carrying something all day. No, thank you. I would also forget I had it and just leave it somewhere. So the next category is if you're feeling bolder, you know, which I kind of am all the time, even though I'm wearing a black vest doing this video. <laughs> But I do feel like my fashion taste and style and all that's like a lot bolder than it used to be like nine years ago. So, bold colours. Embrace the vibrant colours of champion jockey silks, but opt for a bold and eye-catching hue in your outfit. Elevated fabrics. Opt for luxurious fabrics such as silk, satin or leather to elevate the sporty aesthetic and add a touch of sophistication to your ensemble. I think you can win this competition by buying a dress for new look and having accessories because I was looking at the people from last year and then I realised I'm probably not going to win because I'm not very jawdy. <laughs> And, but I'm still going to enter because I love a chance to do something creative and fun and it's just an excuse to be crafty, like I need one. <laughs> so, me being me and going over the top in most situations when it comes to dressing for occasions, I bought a wedding dress off Vinted. It's not a traditional wedding dress, it's, it's, a, it's a dress from Coast and it's a bit fancy looking. My original pan wash is so circular, pieces of fabric onto it, onto the white. And then I was like, no, I think that would look too, too handmade. So then I was like, okay, let's just dye it. This color. <laughs> How amazing is that? So I dyed it on Saturday and it's been sitting since then. I've just been looking at it. Um, and the fabric, it is polyester, but it doesn't look like it. And I can also cool iron it, so it's not going to be super creased like it is now. And it's got a dipped hem. So at the front, it comes just above my knees. And at, and at the back, it just comes off my ankles. Because at first I was like, okay, when that comes, you need to hem it. You're going to look so stupid wearing a long, long gown. And then I dyed it and I was like... I'm not changing anything about this. It's amazing. The only thing is it's slightly too small by like this much. So annoying. So I've taken the zip out. So if you've never removed a zip before, it can be tempting just to cut down the fabric. But you have to take your time and take it out with stitches because if you do that, you're left with the original seam allowance to sew it back down. So I have left mine open uh, with the clips on because I'm going to sew a strap where my 
bra strap is. So it covers my bra strap. And then it's a bit low on the bottom, so I'm going to hand stitch. No, imagine hand stitching and it came out. I'm going to zigzag stitch across this bit here. That's my line there. So I'm going to put the fabric together and zigzag. That way it won't be a bulky seam, it'll still be flat. So yeah, that's my plan. And then it's got a hook and eye, which has come off already, which isn't very good for a new dress. So I'm thinking I might make a tie for that. No, I'm just gonna secure the hook and eye. And this is the fabric that I'm going to use for the strap. Another thing that means I'm not going to win, <laughs> fascinators. I cannot bring myself to wear one. <laughs> I feel like they're so outdated. Like if you're 60 years old plus wear them, I am too young for fascinators. So I am going to sew this wiggle headband by Carmen Christine. And it's just like, it's very in your face. It's just wiggles. That's why it's called the wiggle. <laughs> but I just love the opportunity to be a bit creative and try something new. I do have a backup dress, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. How satisfying is that? The perfect pink for that dress. Let's get sewing. It's the next day and I didn't win Style Awards, but that's okay because I felt like me the whole day and I felt amazing. At first I was like, is this too ridiculous to wear? And then within 10 minutes of being there, I was like, no, it really isn't. So I took the green and pink fabric out because it didn't look right. It looked too, too handmade. It didn't go, it looked too rubbish. Um, so I just used this pink scrap I had um, in my stash. And I also used a small circle plate to make tapered ends so they look much better when they're tied. Um, my friend tied the bows and I'm not very good at tying bows so <laughs> I'm not going to do it here but it did look really nice. I actually didn't get a photograph of the back which I'm quite good about but I'll definitely be wearing this dress again. So yeah, I just added these ties and you can see there, like how it was kind of, it was like that. It was really, <laughs> it was really close to fitting, but I do think these look a lot better than the zip, like when they're bowed up. Um, so I did three separate ones. I did one at the, I didn't need to do one there, but I just did it because I thought it would look nice in threes. I can see if I can do a bow. I don't know if I can. I always do them upside down. I never know how to do them the right way. See, that should be down there and that should be up there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just needs a little shaping. And usually when I make stuff like this, I would never wear it ever again. So I made this Joseph skirt for the Joseph Technical the Dream Coat. I went to go see the theatre. So this is canvas that I painted with acrylic. Um, and I don't think I'm ever gonna wear that again, but I also don't want to get rid of it. So it just lives on my mannequin. But with this, but with this, I'm definitely going to wear this again for sure. I even did my nails pink as well. Quite the contrast, <laughs> my two moods. I also took the interfacing out for these because the green and pink didn't match for the colour but also it didn't it didn't feel relaxed enough. It felt too firm. So I took the interfacing out and this so this is just fabric, which worked a lot better. It was so comfy to wear as well. Well they're the worst bows I've ever seen apart from the first one. <laughs> and I just wanted to uh, tie it to show you kind of what the idea of what it looked like at the back. I also did do my zigzag stitch here to cover the bum part up. <laughs> So yeah, we went to Marpeth after and there was a group of women at the table. They're like, you look like a princess. And then <laughs> I just did like a twirl in front of them. It was amazing. Then they all clapped. <laughs> but I did feel like a princess. Um, it's got a few, I'm not gonna say stains. I'm gonna say, hopefully they'll get washed out because I do wanna wear this again. So uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. My next videos, I'll be back on the podcast. So I just wanted to come on and do like a fun little creative video. Although I really, this morning I've been, you know, doom scrolling <laughs> on Instagram, but I came across a lady who makes jelly roll rugs. So I really, I really want to try that and I've actually got jelly rolls. So I'm, I think my next video, video might actually be 
um, making a jelly roll rug. I feel like doing this has kind of opened up my creative mind a bit more. Like I've sewn bags and things, but I feel like this is a thing where I'm like, ooh, I can't wait to try this next because I know I can. Uh, so yeah, I'm out of my creative sump, I guess, and I definitely am going to try jelly roll rugs. They look amazing. So yes, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've liked this. <laughs> I feel like she has to live here when I've washed because like just that's very satisfying. The green and the pink and the perfect space for that mannequin. So yeah, hopefully they do come out. <laughs>